Importing text files into Python is really easy if you are using NumPy. So let's see how we can bring in some text file data and separate out the columns here inside of Python. I'm using PyCharm for this demonstration, but of course you can use any environment that you like. The first thing we want to do is make our project. So head over to File, New Project. Now before you hit Create, make sure you uncheck Create a main.py welcome script because we don't really need that. So let's hit create and give this a moment. All right, so here we are. Now let's create our Python script. So right click here inside the project panel and select new Python file. And that's it, our Python environment is ready to go. Now the next thing you need to do is head over to the directory in which you created your Python project. And what you want to do here is right click and create a new directory. I wanna call it data. And inside here, you want to paste the data file that you are going to be using. All right, so with the data file here, let's take a look and see what this data file is actually about. All right, so I can see that we have some uh, features of houses here. So we have the street name, bedroom, the area, floors, and the price. If you pay attention closely, these commas here are meant to be separating these features into columns. So these commas here that are separating out the columns, we call these delimiters. And when you are importing data into Python, you really need to make sure you know what the delimiters of your data are. So in this case, our delimiter is a comma. All right, great. So I'm gonna cancel that out and let's head back into Python. Okay, so here in Python, we're ready to start coding. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we have NumPy installed. So the way to do that here in PyCharm is to head over down to the bottom right corner, click on your interpreter settings. And over here, you want to see if NumPy appears in this list. Now, I don't see it here, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that by clicking on this icon here, and then searching for NumPy. So let's search for NumPy, and here it is. Now I'm just gonna hit Install Package, and give this a moment. Okay, and after a few seconds, you should see a notice over here saying that NumPy has been installed successfully. And that's great, because now we can start using it. So let's write over here, import, numpy as np now this np bit over here is basically for us to give numpy a nickname so that we can use it inside our project without having to type numpy 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 all over the place so we can just refer to it as np now let's import our data so we're going to import it into a variable i'm going to call that variable house data and we're going to be using a built-in function of numpy which is load txt Great, now what we need to do is give this some arguments so it knows what to import and how to import it. The first thing we're gonna do is tell it where our data file is. And if you remember, we created a data directory and we put our house data.txt file in there. Okay, the next argument we need to give it is the type of data that we are importing. Now, as a safe bet, I normally just import everything as strings because if I need to change to numbers, floating point, or any other type of data, I can do that later on. So as a safe bet, I just type in string here. So I'm gonna say dtype equals str for string. And the final argument we need to give it is the delimiter. So if you remember, we discovered that the delimiter for our data is a comma. So let's just go ahead and let Python know. Great. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, so we don't have any errors over here, which is good. Now we've imported our data, but we don't really see anything. Now we need to assign parts of our data to different variables. So the way we're gonna do that is by giving each column its own variable so we can print out the columns and see them separately. Now, if you remember in our data file, the first column represented the street names. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a variable here and I'm gonna call it street names. And what we need to do now is we need to somehow take out the first column from our house data variable. So the way we're going to do that is to type in house data. And we're gonna be using something called array slicing. You're taking an array of data, which is like a table, if you will, and you're slicing that table up into the parts that you are interested in. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna put a colon here and a comma, and then we're gonna hit zero. Now, what does this mean? This first value here on the left of the comma, the first value represents the rows, and the value to the right of the comma represents columns. So what this basically means is that we want every single row 
in the first column. So let's go ahead and hit enter. Now what I want to do is I want to print that out. I want to see if I can actually print out the street names that I've just assigned to this variable. So let's go ahead and run. And look at that, you can see all the street names here. So we've just successfully separated the data file into our first column. All right, thank you very much for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below so you are notified every time I make a new video. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comments section below and I'll be sure to get back to you on that. So thanks very much.